హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ ఎస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ టు సీమాస్ టెక్నాలజీ హియర్ సీమాస్ రెఫర్స్ టు కాంప్లిమెంటరీ మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్ సెమీ కండక్టర్ సో హియర్ సీమాస్ రెఫర్స్ టు కాంప్లిమెంటరీ మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్ సెమీ కండక్టర్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ నాన్ ఎస్ కాంప్లిమెంటరీ మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్ బికాస్ ఇట్ యూజస్ టూ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ కాంప్లిమెంట్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ సో ఇఫ్ ఇస్ ఐ కాంప్లిమెంట్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ విచ్ మీన్స్ దిస్ టెక్నాలజీ యూజస్ టూ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ వన్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ ఈజ్ పి టైప్ అండ్ అనదర్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ ఈజ్ ఎన్ టైప్ విచ్ విల్ బి వర్కింగ్ టుగెదర్ దట్స్ వై this technology is known as complementary technology so the type of semiconductor is known as complementary metal oxide semiconductor this cmos technology has become fundamental part of modern ic industries so this cmos technology has become fundamental part or very important part of modern ic industries this cmos technology originated nearly centuries ago but today cmos technology is widely used so this technology is originated nearly centuries ago so it is a very old technology but today cmos technology is widely used now let us understand the historical background the concept of metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor was first proposed by j lillin field in the year 1925 the similar structure was later suggested by o hale in the year 1935 so the concept of metal oxide field effect transistor was first proposed by j lillin field in the year 1925 later similar structure was suggested by o hale in the year 1935 earlier the development of mos transistors faced material related challenges this led to invention of bipolar junction transistors which became dominant technology for many years earlier when the mosfet transistor were in development stage it faced many challenges one of the major challenge was material related challenges so there was lack of material to develop mos transistors that's why a new device was invented which is bipolar junction transistor which became a dominant technology for many years later in the year 1960s mos transistors gained interest for a development but quality control and material challenges delayed its commercial adoption until 1967 again in the year 1960s mos transistor gained interest for development but quality control and material challenges delayed its commercial adoption until 1967 so commercially it was not used until 1967 due to quality control and material challenges initially only single polarity mos transistor were commonly used so initially only single polarity mos transistor were used if we say single polarity which means only p type or n type mos transistors were used later complementary metal oxide semiconductor which used both p type and n type was first applied to ultra low power applications such as digital watches so initially only single polarity mos transistors were used later cmos technology was applied to ultra low power the technology that used only less power were used for digital watches initially cmos technology 
was less favored because of complexity of fabrication. Later, the advancement in technology made the complexity of CMOS less of concern. So initially, CMOS was less favored because of its complexity of fabrication. Later on, the advancement in technology has made the complexity of fabrication of CMOS technology less of concern. Now let us understand the importance of CMOS. The demand for low power, high density, integrated circuits led to increased adaptation of CMOS technology. CMOS technology is an attractive alternative when it comes to chip size and power consumption. Today, CMOS has become dominant technology for very large scale integration circuit design. So here you need to remember the demand for low power high density integrated circuit led to increased adaptation of CMOS technology. Since CMOS was little bit complex to design and fabrication it was hardly used but later on the power consumption as well as the size of an IC became more concerned hence CMOS technology was adopted so that we can have low power consumption and small size integrated circuits. So CMOS technology became attractive alternative for chip size and power consumption. So these two are very important in designing the integrated circuits. That's why to overcome these two challenges CMOS technology was adopted. Nowadays, CMOS technology is the dominant technology for VLSI circuit design. This is about introduction to CMOS technology. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.